Hey guys, it's Jenkins Two and One here, and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently. And I know I said that last time that I'd start uploading more. The reason why is because I didn't have a lot of ideas for videos. And I, after that comic book one, and I decided, hey, I'll go see Far From Home, and I'll see if I have any ideas. And I did. I had after the mid credit scene, I thought about it for a while, and then I went on a two week backpacking trip. I definitely thought about it for a while, formulated the ideas, and right after that, I immediately went to San Diego Comic Con. So my brain is totally all superheroes right now, and I'm going to make one video on Comic-Con, one video on Spider-Man Far From Home, and Thor 4. So this is that video. So Spider-Man Far From Home was an amazing movie, liked it better than Homecoming, it was great. And the mid-credits scene, Myster if you didn't know, spoiler alert, this is your spoiler warning right here. Mysterio and his dying breath outs Peter Parker as Spider-Man and frames him for his death. I think that the best way to deal with that is to just wrap it up. Have basically, S.H.I.E.L.D. just comes in and says, Oh yeah, Mysterio, that that footage was altered, and Mysterio was actually did nothing wrong. He was actually a good guy. He died saving the planet. Spider-Man's doing his legacy. This was just some that crackpot J. Jonah Jameson in his Daily Bugle. Done. And then Peter Parker being Spider-Man, most people will say, Oh yeah, he's just some kid. They just chose him to blame and say he was Spider-Man. Whatever. Okay? No, And besides, no one ever saw, I believe... No one ever saw Mysterio's face in Far From Home. Don't quote me on that, but they could say that's just some dude. It's not really Mysterio in that costume. It's all fake. So, and that would fit well with Far, Far From Home's kind of themes of everything being illusions. And then from there, we start Spider-Man The Home Stretch. And that is what I think it's going to be called. I think it's an amazing title. But what I think is it's going to start off with the Jackal. The Jackal is going to be the founder of the Sinister Six in my movie. I, I went over all of the iterations of the Sinister Six, wrote down all the characters, went over which characters were too lame, which characters were silly, which characters I think they could do, which characters they'd already done before, moved them all out. And the only one that I, uh, in the Sinister Six that I didn't include that I thought would be good is Craven the Hunter. And that's because they can't use Craven the Hunter. They are actually making a Craven movie. I know Captain Midnight made it, made his whole video about Craven the Hunter. They can't use Craven the Hunter. If they could, he would be my number one pick. Man, you Bennett, Craven the Hunter all the way. But they can't. So here's my my pitch for the home stretch. The Jackal knows Peter Parker is Spider Man, right? And he's known for a while. And he wants Peter Parker's amazing power because he is debilitating ALS. Something like that. Okay. I know Jackal from the comics, he's all, he turned himself into a Jackal creature, but that's silly. The current Jackal, he's more like a smart mob boss and stuff like that, that's okay. But I think this would be more interesting that he wants Spider-Man's powers to really heal himself and to be strong. Because Spider-Man has the most amazing abilities, is what he's decided. So he contracts two mercenaries. These are the two members of the Sinister Six. The Chameleon, now the Chameleon in the comics can change his appearance, anything he wants, that's what makes him dangerous. The Chameleon can either be using Widow's tech from the Winter Soldier... Or, to fit the greater pattern the MCU seems to be going forward, he could be a scroll, A scroll mercenary. And that could show that not all scrolls are necessarily good. And then he also was hiring the Beetle. Beetle, in, the, uh, in this universe, could be someone that stole, like, the Bleeding Edge armor that Iron Man used. And, or, like, a lesser Iron Man suit, and he customized it to be the Beetle suit. Right? The Beetle is a mercenary with similar to Iron Man type powers. And what could happen is Chameleon could infiltrate Peter Parker's life, and he could tell... Beetle exactly where he needs to strike to get him the weakest, and then Beetle gets a sample of Peter Parker's blood. And from there, the Jackal starts cloning Peter Parker. Yep, I'm doing the Clone Saga. I think it would be awesome. I loved the Clone Saga when I read it. I'm not sure if I'm in the min a minority on that, but I feel like with John Watts, he could really make it work. Then, they realize they're not strong enough, or at least the Jackal does, so he breaks out Spider-Man's some three people that hate Spider-Man the most, and the Tinkerer from Homecoming, he's the guy that made the Vulture suit and all that stuff, could, he could have him come in, and they could make the Scorpion suit for Scorpion, as we saw him at the end of Homecoming. Shocker and Vulture also bro get broken out of prison by the Jackal. Okay, Then Vulture is in on this plan because he no longer holds anything back from Spider-Man now that Peter Parker was outed Okay, as Spider-Man. And that probably caused repercussions for him and his daughter and all that stuff. So now he hates Peter again. And it's cool to have Adrian Toons be back. And so they could have this big old fight with Peter Parker. And Peter loses and he's presumed dead. All this bad stuff is happening. And this is a more epic film than any of the ones before. You really can't have him in school for the later half of this film. Maybe you could say that Peter is super smart and he or maybe age him up i don't know i think they could have a time gap after they say peter parker is not spider-man i don't know what they want to do but it could be cool then from there when he's beaten 
Jessica Drew comes in. This is the female clone of Peter Parker. This gets wacky, but I think it would be it would be great because their interaction in the comic is super awesome. And then they together can beat the Sinister Six in a triumphant battle. Vulture goes back to jail, or maybe Vulture doesn't go back to jail and he kind of abandons the life of crime, goes undercover, new name, his daughter gets to be with Liz, right? His daughter, and that would be awesome. That would be a nice ending for his character. Shocker, back in prison, of course. Scorpion, back in prison, hates Spider-Man. The Chameleon, if he's a Skrull, maybe they send him over to the sword base, and then that could be another hint for the f grand future of the MCU, I don't know. And then uh, the Beetle, of course, he's a mercenary. Maybe he gets away and is serving someone else, I don't know. As like a mid credit scene, he could be like, yes, the Jackal was whatever, and then his real master could be someone else, I don't know. But the Jackal, he gets put behind bars. But the p cool post credit scene at the very end of the movie might be like, the Jackal... Maybe he's not behind bars. Maybe he escapes and he goes back to his lab and he goes, Jessica Drew was a failure. And then um, he's like subject B3N. And then it shows like a test tube and it's Peter Parker. And comic fans know, of course, that he's cloning Ben Riley. And so that would be really cool. You could have this cool clone saga-esque movie. And then the next movie could focus on like New York after the events of Secret Invasion. Peter Parker's definitely aged up. He's a college student now. Ned Leeds could hopefully still be there. MJ's still there. But now he has to deal with having a clone of himself. Maybe not. Maybe they don't want to do that. But I think it would definitely be cool. Although the MCU might not want to do like the one actor playing two characters. As sometimes that can get a little bit cheesy. But that's it. That's my pitch for the home stretch. Side note for this video though is Thor 4 was announced. Very exciting stuff. Taika Waititi is going to direct. And I think it's going to be awesome. I hope we can get five Thor movies. I think six would be too much, but either four or five Thor movies. And then we can finally have Thor become the new Odin as he was meant to be before Infinity War and Endgame happened. So I really hope that they can do that. And I hope that Gore the God Butcher would be the main villain. And they could have Gore the God Butcher kind of question, why do you get to be king to Thor? Why do gods get to rule over the rest of us? Gods don't... If you don't know, in the comics, Gore the God Butcher was a guy that... His family was destroyed and he went on this killing spree to kill all the gods because they didn't answer his prayers. And he actually does with his Venom symbiote sword, all black, the Necro sword. And so he should go over and he should be like attacking Asgard and doing all this stuff. And Thor should beat him at the end. And I feel like it would be a good moment for a new Asgard for Thor to lift it into the sky. Like oh, like the Asgard in the comics that's above Oklahoma. I think that would be a good way to end it as Thor sitting on the floating city once again. It's new. Thor is the ultimate king of Asgard and have everything be happy. And it'd be a nice wrap-up for, for Thor. If there wasn't going to be a Thor 4, we would have Thor's ending would be him as the fat Thor from Endgame. We all know that was never going to happen. So that's what I think about Spider-Man, the home stretch. And my title for and Thor 4, and my title for Thor 4 would be The Mighty Thor, simply because I feel like it best shows that, like, he's really coming to an end in his arc. If not, uh, I really want it to be Gore the God Butcher for Thor 4, so I would be, I would call it, uh, Thor the God Killer, right? That would be my secondary title, but I really hope it's called the Mighty Thor. And that's everything I have for MCU news prior to the Hall H panel on Saturday. Uh, once that comes out, I'm going to make another video on that and everything that happened at San Diego Comic-Con. I can't wait to see you guys in the, in the next video. I'm sorry, I will be posting again this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, my icon's in the middle of the screen right there. To the left is more videos by me. To the right is Hockey Dawson and Creep MC. If you have any questions or concerns or future videos that you would like me to make, please comment them down in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.